was a weird dream. Alright, anyway. Hello. And welcome back. It's been a couple days. But, uh, yep, I finished, uh, finished my machine room. Haven't really put much in it yet, but we've got our power unit here and our sawmill and... Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not awake yet. Alright, so... Oh, looks like the uh, beam for the drop pod, for the drop is going. So my birds are coming along quite nice. Got my smelt, my uh, my forge up to a decent level. Let's see, where did I put anything in there? No, I haven't. I haven't really done much of anything. So I've got some machines because you know the the forge is nice, but it just it takes a while and it's kind of difficult to automate. And being an engineer, you know, I I, I want to work smarter, not harder. So what we're gonna do here? Oh, there we go. Is we're gonna grab grab my stuff. Back out of here. We'll grab the steak. I'm, I'm in the mood for steak, so. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a look what's underneath us. I know there are several little mines all around, you know, little little caves and whatnot. But I want a fresh start, so what we're gonna do is uh, but, well, actually, let me tell you. Let me show you what I've been been up to. So we've got a sugar, low sugar field planted here. We've got the berries. We've got the building done, and that's really about it. I haven't. I've just been kind of relaxing, and I sat. I, I sat up here on top of my roof and just enjoyed the sun for a little bit. And it's just. It's been good. It's been. It's been a, a good, calm. You know, pleasing time. But now, it's time to work. So I am going to dig myself a little mine shaft down into the down into the into the dirt into the you know li start living off the salt of the earth. And look at us already. We found some copper. a good amount of copper. Very nice. Oh, man, I'm still not quite awake yet. I haven't had any, anything to drink yet this morning. Well, it's not entirely true. Before I turned on the uh, log keeping system, I, uh, I did, I did, I had some juice and I had some water. Oh, some aluminum. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's. Oh. So really, not much has been going on. I haven't seen anything more of that skinless guy or the skinny guys that or that skinny guy that I saw. Still, still a little creeped out about that. I didn't sleep at all that first night after after that encounter. <clears throat> I'm not ashamed to say. What is that? Order infused stone. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to leave it be. <sighs> aside from that encounter the other day, I guess it was about a week ago now, so aside from that, been a pretty relaxing time. 
Ooh, what do we have here? We've got some quartz stone. This will be useful. A lot of dirt under here. Some more charcoal. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> oh. Man. I'm thinking there might be some sulfur around here. Usually where there's coal you'll end up finding some sulfur probably mixed into it and oh my goodness that stuff smells bad. It kind of smells like a fart. some more copper. Very nice, very nice. What is that? Tin. All right. There we go. We got some, we can end up making some bronze. You know, if we need to. Before I left the ship, I read uh, a book about some. Es it's called essence farming. And it's where you can take this. the, uh, uh, the essence that sometimes you can get from animals. Animal essence or. In this case, it's an ore essence, and you can combine it with certain types of seeds. Oh, lovely. Here's some more of this stinky coal. And you can uh, combine it to um, be able to grow certain stuff, like um, I read that you can actually grow iron can grow bits of iron which then can then be melted together into an ingot and osmium this is what we're looking for right here because we're gonna need lots of osmium to be able to do what it is that we're wanting to do with our machine room so most of the machines that I know how to make Um, require the certain metallurgical um, substance, I guess would be the term, that is in osmium. It's very strong, very light, and it is ideal for making most of the machines that, that uh, that I want to build. Looks like we've got quite a bit of it here, which is going to be very nice. You can also combine it with a uh, electrified dust, more commonly known throughout uh, 
throughout the colonies and everything that the ODF uh, um, deal with as redstone because it uh, it can it can send along an electrical signal and when it when it's doing so it lights up red. How deep are we? Alright. Wow, we've gone down quite a ways. Oh, this is hard work. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a grinding machine, which, <clears throat> excuse me, which will grind our ores into a, a dust. And then with that dust, we'll be able to, oh, what is this? Oh boy. We are got ourselves some precious gems, precious stones. And that is very good because I can put a tip on my axe using using that diamond. I can turn I can augment my pickaxe here and make it much more effective using that diamond. Oh, I've got to say though, it stinks down here. Mm. Like, holy cow stinks. And I think we are deep enough right here. I think we're good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build... I'm going to dig out a little room down here that's about the same size as, as my house. Oh, excuse me. I must have an allergy to something down here. And my pickaxe, the pickaxe head is shattered. So we're going to have to go <coughs> back up to the house and repair it. But we'll probably do that tomorrow. Because it's late and I'm tired. Man, look at those stars. Absolutely amazing. Well, good night everyone. Thank you.